breaking news. Seven people poisoned by carbon monoxide inside their home in Lawrence. And we know two of the victims had to be rushed to the hospital. They're young children. Let's get right out to WBZ's Julie McDonald. She's live in Lawrence with the latest tonight. Julie? Well, Paula and David, those little ones just two years old and 11 months. We actually just spoke to their aunt as she returned home from being treated. The rest of her family still at the hospital tonight. The hospital said that they're amazed that no one is, is dead. Five adults and two babies live in the right side of this home on Canton Street in Lawrence. All of them felt increasingly ill over the last day or so before calling 911 Friday afternoon. My sister was kind of lightheaded, had a headache, went to vomit in the bathroom, and um, she didn't make it all the way there. She was stumbling. So my mom um, told my dad to go check on my sister, and when he went to get up, he could not get up either. So it like, overtook the entire family at one time. They were all rushed to the hospital. Emergency responders discovered dangerous levels of carbon monoxide inside the home. As soon as the firefighter walked in, his alarm, he didn't get two feet into the house before he started dinging, 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 and said that we had to evacuate. LaToya says her young niece and nephew are fortunately feeling better. She's worried about her elderly father. The carbon monoxide in the system is so high that they're going to have to put him in the oxygen chamber for a while. So the state fire marshal told us that a malfunctioning boiler component may be to blame for all of this, but did say there were no working carbon monoxide detectors in the house. LaToya says she has them. That was the first thing she was going inside to check. She encourages everyone to do the same. We're live in Lawrence tonight. I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News.